Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to use binding to populate the data from the observable collections. So let's first create a view. Okay. So our view is we are going to use the list view. In the list view we can say list view dot view and inside that we can use grid view for the table we want to show the table right? In the grid view we can say table column or uh, header we can specify table is row number and the table we are going to use two hundred words and uh, use some width of hundred and uh, display element or display number binding let's uh, set the binding to number of the uh, and similarly we want to create another uh, another table or uh, another column So that's uh, 200. This is the CD. And uh, let's add one more. Uh, CD. CD. So this is also 200. And this is the CD. Okay. And this is 500. Uh, we can maybe uh, use margin. We can use a margin of, uh, from the left side. Let's say 100. From the top, say, I think it's fine, it's not the same, but uh, not too much. So 10 from the um, 10 from all the directions, I'm not sure, but maybe 50. Let's do as well. Okay. 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 So I'm going to use the grid column. Column definitions and uh, I'm going to use some columns, column definition of uh, loop of say 500 and uh, another column uh, definition loop of say 300. So I'm going to have some space here. Right now, uh, with this, we can quickly add some data. How can we add the data? Already done the binding, the role in CD. So let's create a let's create a class with the student name, public class student. Okay, and let's add the properties of uh, it, which is role number. Similarly, let's add a name, which is a string. That's our name, and let's add another property, with string, and add another address. So these are the three properties and let's create a collection, observable collection okay, of student and uh, students. Let's initialize those students. Oh, why not, uh, why not, why not property? Let's use a property. Property of this type, name students. And this and then use the students. Uh, Analogous memory, and then we can say that students dot add new student with the name and the address is equal to uh, my city name, then the name of the student is equal to my age, and the role number of the student is equal to the name. Similarly, we can add some more students. So this is a this is online and this is number entry. So then we can see okay, number number code and so these are the entries and it gives me some hint here. Let's say that and that in the code. So that's an initialization, that's nice. And now you can say that the data context is equal to students, okay? Or can say this class itself is my data context, so it is going to get rid of all the members, correct? And the city here can be different uh, as well. So, now, that's all we have to do. Now, this is the data collection that we have to find with our list view. So, what I'm going to say is item source is equal to binding, and I'm going to give the name of my collection, and that's all. So, with this, if you run, you see that it has populated all the records that we have. Okay, 
So that's cool. Now uh, another great feature is this collection thing that you have here. Okay, if you simply add a collection uh, and element in this, it will automatically reflect in the UI without creating any certification. So to test that, we are going to add a stack panel here quickly. In the stack panel, we need one of text blocks, text box. Name is equal to roll number. Okay, and uh, this whole text okay. Similarly, here we add another string, another text box, another text box, and finally uh, one button and uh, submit. Submit this data. Content is add student, add student, and uh, if I click, we will have some event over there. And here we will have a scene. Uh, this is the name S C T. So we are going to take some information from the user and then we'll push it. So I'm going to change the grid column to one. So that's here. And uh, that's that's all we want to do. So on the button is clicked, so we can go to the event definition. And here what we want to do simply is uh, in our uh, collection, we can add a new student, a new student with this uh, row number is equal to convert uh, uh, to int and what we get here is this row uh, text dot to string right? and we have uh, the name, okay, sorry. then we have the name which is equal to s name dot text dot to string to string and then we have this address is equal to sct dot to dot text dot to string right and uh, this way uh, we will add a new record okay so with that uh, if we run okay and uh, you can see they have a record of let's say roll number 14. I mean, it's some uh, some location and say asterisk. Ooh, it comes here, right? And yeah, you see, it keeps adding to it. it will come here. So, the concept is very simple that this observable collection is like it, it will trigger, it will raise the event and tell you the UI that oh, it's updated. And uh, this is connected with the UI here, like uh, this list view item source is your students, which is observable collection. So when we're changing these changes, it's going to reflect here and it's going to update itself. So we are binding the role, name, and address, which is the properties of the students. And um, each record of the students will have this property and it's going to display that data in tablet format. So this is quite useful concept, a data binding, and how to show it in a view. Thanks for watching.